Grab your popcorn, kick back and relax, because it's time for some more carnage. In today's video, I got a pretty sick uh, task force attack to show you guys. It's going to be for Operation Bottleneck. Um, in particular, it's going to be the base known as Mercury. This attack's done by a guy named Gazawood. And as you can see by his stats here, for a full offense player, that's not just unboosted, but that's unboosted by a fair, my fair while. So, uh, that's virtually nothing. That's like a masterpiece in every category. And a guardian in health, so that's that. So let's look at how we did this attack, because that is pretty crazy statues to get a solo on this base. Uh, so we got a standard layout here, and in fact, it's actually a little bit worse because one of the flamethrowers that normally you wouldn't have to worry about is a laser beam, so that'll be an issue for him. So this attack will be a little harder than what it normally would have been for Bottleneck, I think. Uh, I haven't had a lot of experience on Bottleneck, but I know you don't see laser beams on Mercury very often, so... That's that's that. He's rocking Cryoneers uh, mixed in with RZM, so... He's taken out the rockets, and he's GBE'd the two that were just there that would have been a problem for him. Uh, don't like being zoomed out like that, so we'll go like that. You guys can see his flared all the way at the back here. And I'm sorry for the zoom in and out there. I was, this is my first watching of this attack, so we're watching this at the same time, pretty much. Uh, so he's dropped the critter box, and that one kind of, that one kind of strikes me as odd. Maybe that was to save his crying ears, I'm, I'm guessing. Because the crying ears... For whatever reason, they decide to sit in front of like every troop, except for riflemen. But they seem to be always ahead of the riflemen when they're walking, or sort of like the front lines. Uh, at that time, the critter box was very well used. It took some fire from the rockets. Personally speaking, I would have waited a little bit before I dropped that first shock, just because he could have. But it did save some riflemen's lives, perhaps, possibly, so... Uh, good job. So he's just keeping everything well shocked here. And obviously running out of GBE prevented him from dropping a third, which would have been ideal. Um, so most other players that are full offense would have been able to drop that third one. But a key point to note here, he didn't really drop much barrage or artillery. He did on the two rockets just because he didn't have a path to take it out where he could have taken everything and he would have been decimated by those mortars had he tried to do that so that wasn't an option um, the laser beam not really a threat because it focuses on one troop at a time and it's the one closest to him so the path that that laser beam travels after it hits the troop doesn't really kill much so that's really nice uh, which buys all these other troops time just to kill that core. And hang on, I think I said that was crying ears and RZM he was using. I think that was rifleman crying ear and medic. Yeah, it was. Apologies for that, guys. I thought he was using RZM with crying ear. Apparently not. He used rifleman crying ear and medic. Um, his reason for that, I guess that was personal choice more than anything else. Or maybe he knew that he was going to be... When he got to the rockets, he must have knew that his Zookas would have taken a lot of fire. And it would have crippled his damage per second too much. So maybe that was why he went all, uh... All riflemen. But in any case, that was a pretty sick attack. Very well performed. And very well executed, so... Props to Gazawood for that. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that attack. I mean, I always love watching unboosted attacks on Bottleneck and stuff like this. Because to do stuff like that, you've got to be on your game so much. And it's just an awesome thing to watch. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, tell me what you thought down below. Um, and we'll see I'll see you guys in the next one.